Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin with the New York Times. The U.S. presidential election gets sillier by the day. I never got that pony I was promised, and it looks like Ryan Lochte's Speedos are on fire. Welcome to the New York Times crossword. We're going to put aside all our bad news and play a game. Uh, I have a bit of a surprise for you today. It looks like uh, we, due to the brilliance of our video department, we were able to hack a digital version of our crossword, uh, the web game that you see when you sign on to uh, the New York Times crossword page, and no more, no more magic marker scribbling, no more fingers in the way and clues being pulled in and out. We now have the uh, game that you would see on, uh, on Facebook Live. And that's how we're going to solve today. So please pull up a chair, join me, pour yourself a refreshing beverage, and let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to uh, put in the grid is one of my favorite actors, Idris Elba. That gives us a nice start uh, up in the northern quadrant. Uh, let's see if there's any crossers we can uh, put in. Uh, Oa Sisheng says five across is Idris. Yep. Uh, people are saying hi. Hi, Anupa, Anupama Kathari. Uh, Helen Levinson says one is Joel. Let's take a look at that. One of the Cone brothers, Joel. Oops, sorry. Joel. Let's try that. Let's see if that's right. Bump, st something starting with a J. Richard Tucker wants insoles. I think he's thinking of Five Down, the Odor Eaters product. Insoles. That sounds, whoops, insole. That sounds right to me. Um, Marie Schuler agrees that it's insole. Uh, it's actually, well, it could be inserts, Kelly Henry, but it's not today. Today it happens to be insole, and we can prove that by going to the crosser here. Uh, where we have an O currently, 20 across as smokes once touted by Willie the Penguin. Um, I kind of remember that. It's a little bit, uh, it's, it's basically when I, from when I was very, very young, but I do remember that the brand that touted, uh, was touted by Willie the Penguin were Cools, back when you could advertise cigarettes. Uh, Rocky Arturo, thank you. Uh, that was very nice to say. Troy Torreson says jab is one down. That's, that's a possibility. Uh, let's put that in and see if it's right. Uh, we don't know what the theme entry is here today, but we know it's got a huge clue. Not the main food allotment for one on an Intel mission. Boy, that's, that's going to be, I can tell already, that's going to be a punny theme. Let's see if we can get some of the other stuff. Two-syllable cheer. Uh, well, let's see if you've got, this looks like it's only long enough for one syllable, but I'll bet if it's doubled, it would be two. And the only cheer, cheer I know of that starts with an O is Ole. So let's put that one in. Uh, three down, abbreviation that usually follows a comma. Uh, boy, you guys are, are skipping all over the place now that you can see the clues. Uh, David Hildebrand says 28 across is Ritz. Let's see what that is. Word after prime or cut. I don't know if it's Ritz. Um, John Berry agrees with me that it's Olay at two down. Uh, some people are saying Olay. Edward David or, and Lucas Carlson are saying three down is etc. I would agree with that. Let's put that one in. Uh, 14 across is a kind of flute, and that makes a lot of sense because there is an alto flute. So look at that. We've almost got one, one quadrant taken care of. There's this thing called Google. Uh, well, I, I know that one. I say it to my, my teenagers all the time. Look it up. When they ask me, Mom, what is that? Um, so far, we've got this uh, because I don't know what that would be yet. Uh, in crosswords, we have a connector clue. And when you see something that says here, their connector, what they're looking for is the word 
that would go in between here and there. And, you know, we have the phrase neither here nor there. So I'm going to bet that this is nor. Um, now we have beckons here, but that's not how you spell beckons. I don't, I don't think that one down is right. Uh, if we look at the clue again for bump, jab is kind of a bump, but I think jar is probably better. That looks like it would be, it's more likely to be a word going uh, across 17 across. Um, Amanda Henry agrees with me that it's look it up. You must have kids, Amanda. Uh, Chris White says something is rate, but I'm not really sure what, what uh, you're thinking of. Wagner Waltenberg, I do not speak English. That's okay. Sit here and join us anyway. Crosswords are a great way to learn English. Um, people are still agreeing with me that 18 down is nor. Jim Picardo says 39 across is Olympus. Let's take a look at that. Hmm. Mount in Greek myth. Well, we only have three letters there, so I'm not sure it would be Olympus because we also haven't been clued in that it would be a an abbreviation, even if it was Olympus. Uh, if it was O-L-Y or something like that, we would know in the clue that it was an abbreviation. Uh, Ashwarya Yadav Wadwa says, nine down is spray tan. Let's take a look and see what that is. Faux bronze. Well, you know what? That makes a lot of sense because if you have a fake bronze color, you've probably gone and gotten yourself a spray tan. So let's put that in. That fits. And let's see what we can do here. Rights organization co-founded by Mary White Ovington. And because we have that ORG period, that, um, that abbreviation, we know the answer is going to be abbreviated. And the only rights organization I know of that has an N and a, at the beginning and a P at the end is the NAACP. So let's put that, oops, sorry, let's, N, let's try that again, ACP. Um, let's see what else we have here. Six down. This is a great clue. Uh, newspaper with the headline, Mystery Hero Saves Falling Space Plane. Uh, wow, well, that the, the mystery hero, I don't know who that would be, but if he saved a falling space plane, he's got to be a superhero. And there's a, sup a newspaper associated with that superhero, which I'm going to bet is Superman. And the newspaper associated with Superman was the Daily Planet. Oops, daily, oh, too many L's, sorry about that. Daily, P-L-A-N-E-T, there we go. Um, by the way, let me know how you like this type of solving. Uh, if, you like the, um, if you like the digital solving better than the uh, paper solving, let me know how you like the way um, I'm moving around the grid. Uh, we're very curious, we would love your feedback. Okay, so we now have, a lot of 17 across. Reconsider something, seven down, decimeter reading. Yep, and a lot of people are agreeing. Daily Planet, Shivasi Prasad, Philip Joseph Lepresti, Jody Amzel, Daily Ballantine, uh, Mike Kelly, Clark sent Lois Lane. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, Bobby Weiser Stanley is saying that um, eight down is ice. Let's see what that is. Hail, e.g. So we're looking for an example of something that hail is, and that would be ice, correct? So a dosimeter reading reads um, radiation. So the answer to that would be rads. And we have reconsider something, not the main food allotment for one on an Intel mission. Let's see, what else are you guys saying? 17 across. Mary Al Syed says it's reconsideration. Edward David says that. Uh, but Mary Al Syed is already starting to guess the, the theme. Good for you, Mary. Uh, reconsideration. All right, well, a lot of you were saying that, so let's put that in. Not the main food allotment for one on an intel mission. Should I spill the beans on, on why that's part of the theme and why that clue is there? Um, well, here's what we're going to do. This is a puzzle, by the way, by uh, Parker Lewis and Jeff Chen. And uh, they are two very silly guys. They're friends of mine. And the 
Intel mission is a recon. If what we're doing is we're going to split up these long words today. Reconsideration gets split up into recon side ration. So the side ration or the not the main food allotment is for someone on a recon or an intel mission. So the clue, not the main food allotment for one on an intel mission is a recon side ration. Pankaj Tibrawal says 39 across is Mount Ida. Let's put that in. That sounds right to me because it's three letters. Um, Christine Montanaro Weber says 22 across is Swirly. You don't know. It's like the cinnamon in, in babka. You don't know how much I wanted this to be lesser, as in lesser babka from Seinfeld, because I happen to be a very big Seinfeld fan. But you're right. It is swirly. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, Mike Kelly, a reconnaissance joke. Yep, that's exactly what this is. Uh, Sharifa Nibba says 13 down is Ben. Let's take a look at that. Ben Gabriel. I'm not sure who that would be. I, I don't think that it's Ben, but let's see. Corporate recruiters targets. Um, that's a plural clue, so we know that the answer is going to be plural. So I'm going to put the S in there, which means it's not Ben, but I think that this would probably most likely be San Gabriel. Uh, Dan Coffey says 52 across. 52 across is Lovin'. Uh, Loving You by Minnie Ripperton. That, I'm pretty sure, is right. Um, 34 Across, Alexandra Apostolides says 34 Across is It's. Let's take a look. 34. Uh, there's a 34 down, but I think that's right. It's on me. Um, let's see if we can solve this one going across. A Hawaiian veranda. That's a beautiful word. I love the word lanai. Isn't that, isn't that a pretty word? And up here, we can finish this one off, too. The Universe of Energy Locale is in. That's the, that combination of letters has to be Epcot. Um, John Barry says Ella Fitzgerald, but I'm not really sure what clue you're uh, uh, referring to. Uh, Noor Douglas says 23 down is wet martinis. Let's take a look. Here we go. Drinks with plenty of vermouth. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll take a martini any way I can get it. Wet martinis. There you go. And somebody, uh, please forgive me, I forgot your name, uh, said that an ingredient in Christmas pudding is suet. That's correct. Let's see if we can finish off this corner. Upholsterer's stock. Well, an upholsterer deals with fabric, so I'm going to bet that that's satin. Whoops, sorry about that. And let's see, you betcha is, um, that is, has quotes around it. So that means that the verbalization in the clue has to be a verbal, it means that there's a, has to be a verbalization in the answer. So 22 down is also going to be a verbalization. Does anybody know what that is? Well, I'm going to say that it's short, whoops, sorry about that. Sure do. You betcha is the same as sure do. And somebody else had said that uh, pianist Rubenstein is Arter. That's correct. And we've got another theme, theme slot here. Noodle count in one of Arizona's largest cities. Well, you know what? I'm going to throw in the letter E here because one of Arizona's largest cities is Tempe. So we know that's right off the bat. And let's finish this one. 32 down is REM sleep. Dream time for short. Okay, so we're almost done with this. Um, a lot of people are agreeing with me about sure do. Kevin Obey says 37 down is Rochambeau. I was not familiar with that name. Um, it's a uh, another name for rock, paper, scissors, but you're right. It is Rochambeau. Um, Let's see, tempera something. This, I loved this clue. When you see the clue biblical mount, don't you automatically think of Ararat or something having to do with a mountain? Not today, folks. Today we're thinking of a mount you can ride, and that would be a camel. Uh, a lot of people are also starting to guess 
Wow, you guys are good. You're starting to guess the uh, theme entries. We're going to get to that. I'm, I'm, I'm holding off a little bit because I, I think it's great to delay that aha moment, even for a little while. 24 Down did a tour after joining up. Now, that makes you think of military service, uh, doesn't it? But because there's a question mark at the end of that clue, we know we're being uh, misdirected. So it, it probably does not have to do with military service. Let's see what we've got here. Beat the drum for. Beat the drum for. Well, if you beat the drum for something, you're hyping it. So that, whoops, that would be hyped. How are you all feeling so far with the digital solve? Do you guys like it? Uh, somebody said 47 across is tight, like best buds. Yeah, I think that's right. They, whoops, sorry, tight. Um, let's see. Maritz Grafath says 10 across is MBAs, like corporate recruiters targets. That's correct. MBAs, I would say so. How about 10 down, your forte? would be your metier. There you go. And 11 down, many investigators leads. That's a long one. We're not really sure what that one is yet. Let's come back to it. Paula Nolan says, 40 across is money. Let's take a look. 40 across pounds, for example. Yep, I'd say that's money. And so far we've got something here. Did a tour after joining up. I'm gonna bet that the first word is honey. And somebody has, is, people are starting to guess temperamentally. Let's put that in. And you guys are correct when you say that the noodle count in one of Arizona's largest cities, and I like this one the best because it was, it has to do with food, and it was pretty silly, is a tempeh ramen tally. So you're counting your noodles in Tempe, Arizona, Tempe Ramen Tally. That's two out of our three uh, theme clues that we've gotten so far. Let's finish this baby up. One of the Dolomites. Well, one of the Dolomite Mountains is an Alp. And somebody else had said that a flared dress is an A-line because it always is in crosswords. Fitzgerald of old, is it live or is it Memorex ads? I remember this. That's absolutely Ella Fitzgerald. Um, many investigators leads. Yep, a lot of people say, uh, Nicholas Kaplan says Arthur Rubenstein's name is Arthur, not Arthur. It actually was Arthur before he came to the United States. Uh, a lot of people are agreeing on honeymoon, did a tour. Well, it's not honeymoons. It would be honeymooned because the clue is in the past tense. That means that the answer has to be in the past tense. And I think that's hilarious, don't you? Um, if you? If you join up, you get married, and you do a tour afterwards, you've honeymooned. Um, Marilyn White's says 45 down is anvils. Let's take a look at that. Ear parts. Yep. It's well, not a well-known part, but yep, we do have anvils in our ears. And that finishes off March locale of note, which is more misdirection. We do not, it's not a locale that takes place in the month of March, but it was the Selma civil rights marches, which actually happened to have taken place in March of 1965. Uh, you learn a lot by doing crossword puzzles. Ann Hawkins says, 11 down is blind alleys. Let's see. You know what? I'll bet that's right. They do uh, get leads that are blind alleys. Um, people are agreeing with Selma. Diane Hernandez says, 29 down is Talese. Gay who wrote Frank Sinatra has a cold. Uh, yep, the only author I know who uh, whose name is Gay is Gay Talese. Talese. There we go. And let's see, 28 across, word after prime or cut. Well, you could put the word rate after prime for prime rate or cut for cut rate. So let's move on. 35 across, hang back would be lag. Delegation at the Oslo Accords. I would has to be Egypt with that combination of letters. Um, Bobby Weisler Stanley says 49 across is on base. 
And the clue for that is in scoring position, say. So, yep, I would say that's correct. Um, 41 across energy saving mode. Well, if you are putting the energy saving mode on your computer, you're putting it to sleep. And popular game with this, oops, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That should be a T. And the popular game with the sequel, Riven, one of my favorites was Mist. Um, Ethan Lee says 42 is norm. Let's take a look at that. It's so typical. Yep. The it's so typical, a, a uh, substitute for the it's would be norm, because norm means you're typical. And let's take a look at 43 across. We are whizzing by this one, and it's a good thing because we have some news from Rio coming up after this uh, with Simone Biles, so please stay tuned for that. 43 down, chops up. Well, I don't know how much chopping is, but I would bet that this is minces. Mincing is cutting it up a little smaller. Um, 48 down, let's see, 59 across, Roger Cole says 59 across is bagel, a zero in sports slang, that's correct, I've heard it respond, I've heard it referred to as a, a zero as a bagel, because it looks like one, um, subway station feature, that's got to be a map, and somebody had said the Olympic racing event is a luge, that would be correct, um, Ethan Lee says, uh, Almanacs. Where are, where are you, Ethan? You have to give me a number. Uh, Christine Montanaro Weber says GTO. Um, okay. The guys, if you could, if you can, please give me a number if you, if you can, because it's my, helps me find them in the grid. 50, a pen name. Um, well, uh, a pen name could be an author's name that they write under, like Samuel Clemens wrote under the pen name of Mark Twain. But because this is three letters and it's not bio, I'm going to say that this is some misdirection and some devil de devilry um, on the part of Parker Lewis and Jeff Chen. And I'm going to say that's Bic, because the name of a brand of pens is Bic. Uh, Bob Evans agrees with me. Sharon Tadmore says 38 down is Almanacs. I would bet you're right about that, Sharon. Um, Kaylee Robinson, Eric Keith Allen, Bobby Weiser Stanley, Brian Hollander, Jim uh, Picardo all say Bick is correct. And we're getting very close to filling in that third, uh, that third uh, theme clue. Uh, let's see. Noted transatlantic voyager. Well, the only transatlantic voyager I know that's of note was the Pinta, as in the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, which makes 48 down car modified into the monkey mobile. Uh, uh, it's got to be a GTO, man. That's the only GT I know of. Uh, ben Benoit Collignon says 61 across is mess. Word after hot or before kit. And I would say you're right, Benowit. Uh, you can say somebody is a hot mess, or you can say you can refer to something as a mess kit. Louis Morgan agrees. And uh, Tommy Duffin says 48 down is geo. Let's take a look. 48 down. Well, you know what? I, I think that a GTO is is probably uh, more likely to be right because that was what the monkey's car uh, was made of. Um, let's see. 51 down. Gentle reminder. Something beginning with a P. Um, people are agreeing about 61 across being mess. List... Listing in un anwer, which is uh, French for calendar, I believe. Uh, if you're from France or you speak French, please let me know if you agree. Um, and I would guess, oh, I'm aware. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, let's try this one. The Grapes of Wrath itinerant. Well, that had to be what they called an oki. And that makes the gentle reminder a poke. You guys think it's poke? Paula Nolan thinks it's poke, and Dorinda Monson thinks it's poke. 
Nicoya Maria Judita Borella says no, but a lot of people are saying poke. I don't know if that's a gentle reminder, but I'll, I'll put it in. Um, okay, so this is something communic... Uh, I'm going to guess that's communicable. Non, non-communicable, so an annuaire... Uh, maybe that's a phone book, because nom is, is French for name. Um, let's see. Uh, Graslin Risky, I'm sorry, please forgive me for mispronouncing your name. Graslin Guignac is, says, an annuaire is a phone book. So great, that, that nom makes a lot of sense now. Look at this, you guys. We are almost done with a Thursday New York Times crossword puzzle. That's, that's pretty hard to do. You know, most people most people are afraid of the New York Times crossword, and I don't know why. It's really um, really a lot easier than you think when you know how to think about the clues. Fifty five down is bunk. Fifty six down is B on the level with a question mark, and fifty seven down is this appropriately. Let's see what if we can do the crossings. Invent. Robert Lee says 56 down is lie, so be on the level. Lie, you know what? I'll bet you're right, Robert, because if you lie down, you are pretty level, hopefully. Um, 63 across Tor. Not sure what that is. Um, Paula Nolan says it's sped. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's put that in and see. Um, that means that 55 down bunk would be bop. That's right. And you, if you invent something, you would coin it. And a lot of people have gotten there before me, and they know that this appropriately is the end. And look at us, guys. In 39 minutes, with the power of our collective brain cells, we have solved a very fun New York Times crossword puzzle. Um, just so we can take, we can go over the, uh, theme entries. Whoops, sorry about that. Not the main food allotment for one on an Intel mission is a recon side ration. The noodle count in one of Arizona's largest cities is a tempe ramen tally. And from the word non-communicable, the Sarge's Sell My City Bonds Telegram is a non-com muni cable. Got it? Jane Osgood, I'm so glad you appreciate it. Lauren Tate, yep, I loved ending on, on end. I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, yay us, Lorna MacGyver, we are, we are unstoppable, and we are going to be doing this every Thursday until... People understand that the New York Times puzzle is nothing to be afraid of. It does get harder as the week goes on, but once you understand a few tips and tricks and you understand how to think about what you're being asked to do in the clues, it really is just so much fun, and it's actually pretty funny. Most of the puzzles have a lot of humor in them. Anyway, I am so glad you guys could join me today. Do you guys like uh, the online digital solving better than the hand solving on paper. Uh, if you did, please please leave your uh, opinions on the uh, digital solve in the comments. We will continue to read them. I'd like to thank you very much. Haley Dillson, we'd love to do another one of them, but we're going to be back on Thursday, next Thursday, to do another one. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times. I will see you next Thursday.